Hello everyone, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. I'm really, really excited to bring you this carnivorous plant haul today. The folks over at California Carnivores were kind enough to send me over this package of carnivorous plants and I'm gonna be unboxing these for you today. I'm really excited about this unboxing because I've never received plant mail before where I didn't know what was in the box and this is gonna be a complete surprise to me. I don't even know what kinds of carnivorous plants are in here so I really, this is a complete surprise to both me and you opening these up and that's really, really exciting to me. I apologize that it's already sliced open. I was actually slicing this open and I started talking and realized that my camera wasn't on. So I turned on the camera and I'm doing take two right now. So I'm really, really excited to open these up. As a lot of you guys know, I've partnered recently with California Carnivores. They're one of the most experienced and knowledgeable carnivorous plant nurseries around. And I'm really, really excited to, to kind of work with them and bring you guys some really, really cool carnivorous plants. So just want to say a special thank you to California Carnivores for sending me these awesome carnivorous plants so that I can share them with you guys. With that being said, uh, stick around here in just a few moments. I'm going to go ahead and talk to you a little bit about how you can get a special discount as a viewer for my channel with California Carnivores. So stick around here just a minute to see that. I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into this. We're going to start opening this and see what awesome carnivorous plants that California Carnivores sent to us. All right, let's open this up. I'm going to get the first one out and then I'm going to move this box. It's kind of in the way here. It's packaging. Here we go. Okay, so let's get this out and I'm gonna move this box so that we can see everything a little bit better. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and start by unwrapping this one here. Let's take a look and see what we got. This is really, really exciting to me because I don't even know what kind of a plant this is. So let's check it out. Okay, we're gonna start off with a Venus flytrap. Very cool. Let's go ahead and pull off the tag here and see what it is. Something definitely, something definitely to note here is that they are packaged really, really well. Let's go ahead and pull off this first tag here and see we have what looks like a Venus flytrap of the typical variety. So we have some really, really beautiful typical Venus flytraps here. These ones aren't labeled as any type of cultivar. So look at those. They're huge though. They're really, really giant which is awesome and this is kind of what you get when you when you buy from a nursery instead of buying your venus flight traps from a lowe's or a walmart you get these really really big healthy typical venus flight traps instead of the kind of smaller sometimes sickly venus flight traps so that's that's something that, to consider if you're deciding whether you want to buy from, from walmart lowe's or whether you want to go to like an actual nursery and buy some really healthy plants Okay, I do need to finish unwrapping these. As you can see, the the, the pot here is still uh, pretty wrapped up, but you can see the beautiful color on these and just how big they are, which is kind of one of the coolest things for some typicals. These are really, really incredible, beautiful Venus flytrap. So I have some more unwrapping you all unwrap. And also, uh, I just wanted to point out too, at the end of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these all out and put, line them up and get closer videos of them so you guys can see them really, really well. So I'm not gonna do this a lot of super close-ups as I'm sort of opening these, but uh, just take a quick look there and then once we get these all opened up, I'll give you a really, really good look here at the end. All right, there we go. Fully opened up, completely out. What a beautiful, beautiful flight trap. Love it, love it, love it. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the next plant, but before we do that, I wanted to, you guys to check this out real quick. I'm super pumped about teaming up with California Carnivores. They're one of the most experienced and knowledgeable carnivorous plant nurseries in the entire world. They have a massive selection year round of all types of carnivorous plants. There will definitely be something in their nursery you fall in love with. On top of that, they've also been generous enough to offer my viewers an exclusive 10% discount on their order when they enter CP Hub at checkout. That's CP Hub. Head on over and pick out yourself a new carnivorous plant to add to your collection. You know you deserve it. Let's go ahead and get back to the video. All right. Thanks so much for checking that out. I hope you guys head on over to Carnivorous or to uh, California Carnivores and get your discount on your next Carnivorous plant purchase using that code CP Hub. Let's see what we got here for our next plant. All right, we got another Venus flytrap here. This one definitely looks like a cultivar. This one is a moon trap. Moon trap. So let's go ahead and get this one open. I think these ones, I've seen these before. These are really, really cool. They have sort of almost the inverted inside where it's almost like a bubble 
uh, the sort of unusual trap part. So let's go ahead and open this one up and check them out. There we go. Those are so cool. And I'll get you another close up too at the end here, but check those out. Those are pretty awesome. Moon trap. I got to give California carnivores some serious credit here because they really know how to package a carnivorous plant. You can tell that they've been doing this for a long time. It's almost to the point where it's difficult to get them open. And actually, to be honest, the way that I sort of determine how well it's been packaged is how difficult it was to open these. If it's really, really difficult, perfect. That means it's gonna be really, really difficult for these to fall out or to, to loosen up during transit. So I really want my, my carnivorous plant to be difficult to open when I get it. And uh, you could just see all the, the wrapping that they put on here. This is just underneath. This is, they have the, the cup that they put on top to protect them, then they tape it, and then they have the plant itself all taped up. Uh, this isn't taped, this is just plastic wrap, but really, really good job. So you know for sure that when you get your plant in the mail that it's not gonna be all tumbled up and messed up. There we go, all opened up. I would say as a tip, uh, when you get these plants, instead of trying to just unravel all the tape, grab like a knife or something, like I got my pocket knife here that I'm using to sort of cut all these open and then kind of peel it away as you cut it. Just be really careful when you're cutting around the plants that you don't accidentally cut off a flight trap or something because nobody wants that. But let's go ahead and get the tag on this one. Moon trap. All right, let's see what we got here. I should also mention too that I'll go ahead and link all of these specific plant types in the description. So if you're interested in getting one of these, uh, go check the description. And again, remember to put in that code CP Hub at the at the checkout so you get that 10% discount. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. Oh, we got a Nepenthes. All right, we have a Nepenthes Rob Catlier. These are really really beautiful. I've seen these before. Really, really beautiful Nepenthes. Let's get it opened up. All right, there you have it. The Nepenthes Rocantlier. What a beautiful Nepenthes. This one is super, super healthy. They're little bitty, really, really cute little pitchers. Um, but one of the things that's really cool about this one is you can see it has some some new growth on it that's, that's popping up. It's kind of hard to see because it's behind the, right there. Some new, new pitchers coming up which is really cool. And I should say, I'm sorry, when I'm moving this back and forth, I'm looking at my the screen on my camera and it's inverted. So sometimes my movement's a little wonky. I'm sorry about that. So if you see me kind of moving weird, that's why. But look at the pictures on those. Those are just so cool. And I'll give you another close up of this one too when I take the camera off the tripod so you can see it really, really good. All right, so that was plant number three. Let's see what we have next. Carnivorous plant number four on my haul today what we got here. Ooh, another Venus flytrap. You guys know the Venus flytraps are my favorite, so. Oh, that one's really, really cool. Let's see what this is. What is this? Oh, a Triton. A tri I actually just saw these are uh, on sale on California Carnivore's website. For a discounted price which is really really cool i was actually thinking about pulling the trigger on one of these so really really good timing on their part let's open this up and check them out all right so here is the triton look at the big beautiful traps on that guy those are really really cool this one has really cool cilia the, the teeth uh, or the hairs i guess some people call them different things but you can see that they, they're kind of spread out and kind of odd looking uh, which gives them almost kind of like a, a tooth look. Sorry, rather than an eyelash look, which is really, really interesting and really, really cool. You can see there's a uh, really healthy one coming in right there, a brand new one, which is always nice to see on these coming through the mail. You never really know sometimes. Uh, I should mention too, these were only took two days to come in. They they sent these, I think, on uh, so Wednesday, and I received them on Saturday. So... That was a really, really quick time in the mail, which is really important. It's really, really important that, that you get uh, plants in the mail as soon as possible. See, there's some healthy looking growth coming up there in the middle. Cool. Triton. All right, so that's plant number four. Let's see what we got here with plant number five. 
Look at that, Sar. Saracenia, looks like a Purpurea Adrian. I'll have to pull the rest of this off to see. I'm not familiar with this at all, but look at that beautiful red color. Oh man, let's get this open. I'm really, really excited about this one, guys. I really, really wanted a, a new Purpurea, or not a Purpurea, a new Saracenia. And I've been looking for a new Saracenia and this is just beautiful. Look at that really, really deep red color. This is a Purpurea by Adrian Slack. So this is a hybrid. I'm not familiar with Adrian Slack, but I'm gonna look it up when I'm done here and check it out uh, to see what they look like as they get older and become adults. But uh, this one looks like it is crossed with a Purpurea, which I really, really love my, my perp. So this is a just beautiful plant. Look at that color. I love the, the contrast of the, the green moss with the, the red plant, it's just beautiful. So, all right, so that's plant number five. Again, I'll give you a nice close up of that one when we're done here. Let's see what we got for plant number six. Oh, this is the last one, actually. And this is the biggest one. This one's kind of tall, so if I had to guess, I would say it's probably another Saracenia, just by the height of it, because it comes up to about here. But let's see. Usually if a plant is taller, that's a star. Oh, yes, sir. I was correct. Look at that. Man, let's get this open. So a knife works great, but I actually probably recommend getting like a little pair of scissors. Works even better. And you can just kind of cut these like this, which is much easier than trying to cut that with a knife because then you start pulling on the plants, especially these kind of delicate pictures here. I don't want to tug on those too much with the knife, so I would probably get like a pair of scissors. I actually have these linked in the in the description. You can use on Amazon for like five bucks with the whole kit of like tweezers and stuff, which are really handy for cleaning up your, your plants. Man, check that out. So we have a Leah Wilkerson Minor Giant. Very, very, very cool. I can't wait to look these up too. Um, uh, the word giant in there gets me a little bit excited thinking that maybe this is a young one. These are going to get pretty big. So, uh, But you can just see that that's a, what a gorgeous, gorgeous plant. Look at the color on those. That's sort of the, it's got the, the dark pinks and the light pinks. Just beautiful, man. Kind of light at the bottom and the hood gets to be a little more dark with the white spots. Incredible. All right, I'm going to get this tripod off here and let's take a closer look at all of these plants. All right, let's take a quick look at everything here. And I'm not inverse, so it'll be easier to show you guys these plants a little bit closer. So we have our typical here, has some new growth coming in in the middle, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, you can see, this is a typical, but like look, look how big those are for a typical. Those are giant typicals. And this is, like I was saying earlier, if you, get a, if you go and get a typical from an actual nursery like California carnivores, then you're gonna get a much healthier, easier plant to take care of versus getting the ones that are really unhealthy, you know, like at Walmart or Lowe's. Uh, and sometimes they can be a little frustrating because they're not as healthy and not as big. But look at the coloring on this one, man. Look at that. The, the red and the, the green on the inside there, almost a yellowish color. That's really, really cool. Really, really beautiful typicals. All right, let's take a look at our moon trap here. Let's bring it in a little closer. Look at those, man. Those are so cool. So unusual. I love unusual Venus flytrap cultivars. And this one is really, really, really neat. You can kind of see they have sort of the bubble coming up there. Really, really. I'm not sure if this one's functional. I'll have to ask um, and look into this one because I'm not sure if it's a functional flytrap. It may not be because it doesn't look like that those could, would actually be able to close. So this might be the kind of flight trap that I'd have to fertilize since it's not necessarily functional and I'm not sure if those traps will actually close and if they do close, I'm sure that they close, but if they do close, I doubt that they're able to actually capture an insect because of that shape there. You can see that doesn't look like something that's probably gonna close, which is really, really, this will be the first non-functioning flight trap that I have. So that's actually really cool. Right, moving on to the Nepenthes. 
from Cantillay. This is a beautiful Nepenthes. Look at the, it looks like when they're younger, they're kind of a yellow pitcher, and then they turn kind of more of a dark red, probably as they're exposed to more lights. But you can see, as they get older, you can see the tops of these here are almost a, like a, a, almost a maroon red. And then this younger pitcher here is kind of more of a yellow, it's kind of speckled. Yellow speckled with some red. Really, really, really beautiful. I love Nepenthes. I just think they're so interesting and so cool. So I'm really, really excited. I haven't got a new Nepenthes in a while, so really, really excited about that one. Here is Venus Flytrap Tight, or I'm sorry, Triton, not Titan, Triton, with its funky cilia, those teeth there, looking kind of, <laughs> looking like I might need to take a trip to the dentist or something. Look at those things. Look at those teeth, man. Really, really cool. I love the size of these. These are really, really big. You can see they're pretty good sized traps on these. I love these kind of weird. You can see this one's been catching, so this one is functional. You'd almost think that maybe they're not functional with those really, really strange looking teeth, but you can see that this one's been catching flies, so. All right, moving on to the Purpurea by Adrian Slack. I don't know much about this plant, but this is, I know that I like the color of it. Let's go ahead and take a look here, looking down at it. Look at the color of those bright red pictures on this thing. Man, what a beautiful Saracena. I love this dark red color. I do have a maroon, and I just love the colors on it. You see, it does a little bit the same thing as my maroon. It comes up kind of a lighter color, like a light pink, and then it turns into these darker, deeper red colors. And then last, but not least here, is this Leah Wilkerson Minor Giant Saracenia hair. I really, really love, I'm gonna come up closer here so you can see kind of the color. This looks like a smaller picture. You can see it has kind of the, the vein look with the yellow greenish with the red. And then you can see this one here is maybe a little bit older one. And it has a much darker defined red veiny looking color, which is really, really cool. And you can see here's some bigger, bigger ones here. So they have that really, really beautiful look. Yeah, so that's my haul. That's everything right there for you guys. Um, thanks so much for checking this out and thank you so much California Carnivores for sending me such a cool haul of carnivorous plants. If you want to check out one of these plants, the link in the description, check it out. Go check out California Carnivores if you want a 10% discount on your order. Make sure and use CP Hub at checkout and uh, get yourself a nice new carnivorous plant at a, at a nice discounted price. So thank you California Carnivores for, for this. This is awesome and, and thank you everyone for, for checking this out. Make sure to like this video. Subscribe to my channel, that stuff helps me out so, so much. And uh, thank you so much for being here and I can't wait to catch you in my next video.